And we are back on this WWE 2K23 My Rise Episode 2, man. Make sure y'all stop and smashing that like button. We back at it. Second day. Second day upload streak. We are still on hard difficulty. We're going to bump it up to legend very soon. Maybe even the next episode. I'm not sure. But I think I'm going to upgrade for the first time this episode. I'm going to figure out which ones I want to upgrade. And I will be right back. All right. I think I got to figure it out. I really want my resilience up more. But I feel like that's going to you know be where the challenge is for me not having that stamina not having um you know my uh ability like durability high enough so it'll be more of a challenge i guess but let's get into this episode we do have side missions in this game side storylines but i'm gonna stick with the main missions for now hey champ been meaning to talk to you about a potential big opportunity is now a good time yeah sure what's going on so far, you've been living up to the office's expectations, but now it's time for a big test. We want the lock to headline a live event for the first time, defending the Intercontinental Championship. A live event? I'm not sure that's a big test. Let me finish. The live events in one of our top markets, LA, where there's always a lot of competition for the WWE Universe's entertainment dollar. It takes a big name talent to put butts and seats there. You know, like when I main evented WrestleMania 12. Wasn't that in Anaheim? Technically not LA. Nothing gets by you. Anyway, if you can sell out a major arena in LA, you can do it anywhere. Even Anaheim. So what do you think? I think I'm more than ready. Let's make it happen. Great. We thought we'd let you choose who you want to main event against. Sami Zayn, Ridge Holland, Austin Theory, we can just promote your appearance without an opponent. Okay, so we got some options. We got Sammy again, Ridge Holland, Austin Theory, or I can sell out on my own. That's some cock. That's the cocky way out. I ain't, I ain't trying to be cocky, but I think I want to whoop Sammy ass one more time. One more again. I want to whoop your ass again, little dude. Come here. I wouldn't mind smacking around Sammy Zayn for old time's sake. Tried and true. I'll make it happen. I know I fought Sammy like three times already, but I want to beat his ass again, so I might skip through this fight. So, big live event coming up. Do you feel extra pressure knowing that same night The Rock will be in LA promoting the premiere of his new movie, Mudslide? I don't know why they didn't call it Rock Slide. It was right there. The Rock? Man, don't, hey, don't, don't, don't you tell me I gotta fight him, though. I don't care if it's The Rock. I'm not worried about a dumb movie premiere. Would you rather watch celebrities walk a red carpet or watch me defend my Intercontinental Championship? Easy decision. I should mention that it's not just a typical movie premiere. Rock's giving away a hundred brand new pickup trucks and anyone who attends is eligible to win. I heard fans were lining up weeks in advance. Look, it's gonna be fine, okay? When the bell rings for my match, those seats will be full. Got it. Oh, and just a heads up, I might be a little late to the show on account of the fact I need to cover a friend's shift waiting in line for a truck at Rock's premiere. But I'll try my best to catch your match, too. <laughs> Got it. Thanks.
The following is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn. And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 215 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Sub-Zero. Crowd empty as hell. We ain't sell out. Oh, oh damn. Now I really gotta beat your ass. Come here, little dog. You see them empty seats? We ain't do our job, bruh. We ain't big as we ain't big as we thought we was. Our name don't ring bells like that. That's cool. My name gonna ring bells after I put dents in your forehead like NBA Young Boy. I'm I'm sorry, that was too much. <laughs> My bad. Come here. Look. I missed. And you gonna kick me all in my sh all right? I know damn well you get man, get up out of here, dude. I'm not stunned, my health all good, and you trying to pet me? I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop you on your forehead. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Drop you on your forehead. Get him out of here. Let's end this match quick. I ain't got time. I ain't got one, two. You see, you see. See, you you want to drag this match out, bruh. You must really want... Okay, get up. Get... Mmm, knee to your mouth. You want to drag this match out. You must like pain, because I'm about to put you through a whole hell of a lot of pain. Knee to your nuts. Can't use them nuts no more. Nutcracker. Come here. Mmm, come here. You, you want to you want drag this damn match out. I got something for you. I got... I got something for you. Get him out of here. He's stunned. One, two, bro. See, yo, see, now I'm gonna hurt you. Now your punk ass wanna run? You ain't running nowhere. Come here. Come here. You see, I was trying to let your punk ass go home. You don't wanna go home. So fuck it. I don't wanna go home either. I don't wanna go home either. And I don't care if we get disqualified. I'm gonna beat your ass until I'm tired. And I don't get tired. Kevin Gates. What? <laughs> that was trash. <laughs> Boy, hey, listen, big boot to your mouth, and I'm going to wait for you. Well, I'm going to wait for you. I, I'm going to get this squad. I want round two. Go ahead. Go ahead and count to ten. Go ahead and count to ten. He ain't going to get up in time. I want round two. Go ahead, brother. You see, I, I was trying to let your punk ass go home, but you ain't want to go home, so now you can't go home. I want round two. I'm going to put your ass in a coffin. Come here. Come here. Come on, brother. Round two. Mmm, to your mouth. You see, last year it was uh, Tommaso Ciampa, punk ass. Now it's you. Everything about y'all don't like your clothes. Whack. Your goddamn entrance. Whack. Your theme music. Whack. Your hair. Whack. Your moveset. Whack. That five-finger slap. I know you felt it. I know you felt it. Come here. Since you like being outside the ring so goddamn much, I got something for you. I got something for you. How about I power bomb your weak ass outside from the ring? And I ain't done yet. <clears throat> oh man, there we go. About damn time. He was whooping my ass for a little bit, but I'm about to finish this match. I had my fun beating your ass this whole time. You had your little little run, but I'm about to finish the match right now. He was whooping my ass. I can't lie. Look at my health. It went from gray to yellow and red. But it's time to end it all right here. With the spear! He's done! And he's stunned! Get him out of here! One, two, three! How'd it go out there?
The match went fine, but in case you didn't notice, the arena was only half full. So, not great. What do you chalk that up to? I thought facing Sammy would be a match people wanted to see, but maybe they were tired of it and wanted something new. Or maybe it's just tough to compete with The Rock giving out free trucks. Who knows? The Rock? Oh, hell no. Nah. Don't tell me I gotta fight The Rock next. Maybe next time schedule your big premiere giveaway on a night when WWE isn't in town. I'm sorry, but who in the blue hell is Oh my God. If I gotta, hey. I mean, if I gotta fight him, I gotta fight him. But if I can avoid it, I'll decision branches. Important decisions crucial to your my rise are marked with, I guess, left and right. These icons signify a decision that changes the trajectory of your story or which superstars might align with you in a few. Ooh. So if I go with the, the you know, respectable route, he might become a friend. Hey, listen, if I can avoid fighting the rock, I'm gonna do just that. Shut your mouth. I'm a little scared. Save your advice for someone else? Hell no. Nah. Thanks for the great advice. You're damn skippy. We going with that one. Listen, hey, <laughs> I, I know I'm supposed to be a villain and all, but I, I'm picking my battles wisely, brother. And the lock and the rock might be a fire duo. We just might be tag team teammates. You never know. I got to pick and choose my battles wisely, brother. Wow. Know your role story completed. So these stories are kind of short. So I thought I was going to do one story per episode, but that would make this, what, a 10-minute video, an 8-minute video or something like that? So we're going to do another story, and now we're going to keep it going. Hey, Miss Parker. I know your name, Kayla, but hey, Miss Parker. Hey, listen, we got little sideline stories and side missions, and I'm going to do that off camera, and I'm going to just save the regular missions for the videos. You wanted to talk, right? What's up? I've been thinking back on my own career lately, and I realized a lot of my success can be credited to the factions I was a part of, both off screen and on. Just like you, I was strong willed and independent. But in WWE, you often find yourself needing backup. The other members of the clique and DX also puts each other to be better. What are you getting at? Two prominent superstars have approached management with the idea of building a faction around you and the brass thinks it's a good idea. Is this because of the LA Live event? It's not about what happened in LA. Promise next time we'll go better or blame the- I'm blaming WWE out the gate. Y'all got me in these tidy whities in this stripper outfit. Y'all, don't, don't wonder why nobody wanna come see me fight. I'm in a damn stripper outfit. I was set up to fail with the whole rock publicity stunt happening the same night. You're lucky the building was half full. Sure, whatever. But this faction stuff has nothing to do with that. It's all about accelerating your rise to the top. And I think it says a lot that a couple of heavy hitters came to us wanting to build something around you. So I'll say it again. You just need to play ball here and trust the process. Okay, but if I do this, I see it as a good opportunity to freshen up my look. So no more lock gear, okay? If that's what it takes to get this done, then fine. Good, get me out of this stripper fit. Okay. Then I'm on board. So who approached you about this? What are my options? The two superstars who want to recruit you are MVP and Randy Orton. Go talk to them, hear what they have to say, and decide what's best for your career. MVP or Randy Orton? We was teaming up with Randy Orton, I believe, last year. Oh yeah, forget MVP, dog. I'm going with you are about to enter a story gate. Plan will advance the story. You will be unable to return and play. Oh, I got to do the side missions now or I can't come back. Let me do that first and then I'm going to come back, man. They got me in my gear. Sub-Zero is finally here, my boys. No more stripper fit. Let's go. But now I get to decide between Randy Orton, who we teamed up with last year, or MVP. Oh, I don't know who's going to be my teammate, though. That's the difference. I think Randy Orton might be fighting with me or he might be like some type of manager. I don't know. So I also got a feeling this might turn left. Whoever I join, I will become enemies with. So I'm trying to I don't let me hear what MVP got to say first before I decide on anything. Intercontinental champion, the lock. 
It's a pleasure, man. I've enjoyed watching you tear it up so far on Raw. And they weren't wrong with all that hype, which is why I wanted to talk to you. I'm relaunching the Hurt Business, and I want you to be the centerpiece, the new CEO. Man, that sound good and all. I don't, I don't know if I like that. I don't know who you bring it to the table. Also, I don't like your big, thick, wide forehead ass anyway. The last version had issues. I couldn't keep track from one week to the next if you were together, broken up, or who was even in the group. You're not wrong, which is why I am going to do it right this time. And that starts with you. I mean, look at what I did for Bobby Lashley. I helped elevate him to become WWE Champion. And I can do the same thing for you, but faster. Since, let's be honest, Bobby was a bit of a rehabilitation project, but you, you're ready for prime time. So, who else do you have in mind for the group? I'm reviewing a lot of top candidates, but don't worry about that. No matter who else joins, the lock is going to be the guy, the focus of the group. Every decision the Hurt Business makes will be to further your individual success first. It sounds it sound too good to be true, bro. That's why I think I'm going to go with Randy Orton. That all sounds good. Assuming you're not just saying all this to get me on board. I'm not. Trust me. I see big things in you. So what do you think? You ready to make the best decision of your life? Man, forget your big, thick forehead ass. I'm going with Randy Orton, even if we become enemies. I want to see you in the ring. I still need more time to decide. I totally get it. Think it over and do what's best for you. Hopefully, that means joining my side. Glad we could finally talk. Especially since you might be hearing some big promises from guys like MVP. But let's cut to the chase. What has he really accomplished? I ain't gonna lie, I don't really know too much about MVP at all outside of, uh, what's that big, swole, bald head dude, uh, Lashley, Bobby Lashley. Outside of him, I don't know what the hell MVP did. Not much recently, unless you count riding Bobby Lashley's coattails. Exactly. I like where your head's at. So, why are you getting involved with all this faction stuff? I enjoyed what I had in RK Bro, and it got me thinking about my start in WWE when I was a part of one of the greatest factions of all time, Evolution. I want to add to my legacy by building an even better version. Interesting. So where do I fit in? I'll be the veteran leader, the Triple H type, and I see the lock in the Phenom role that I held. You're not the guy yet, but with my help, you will be. I seem to recall that you and Evolution didn't end on the best terms. You don't need to worry about that. With me in charge, it will be different. And when the time's right, I'll pass the torch to you and you'll become world champion, just like I did. When will that be? I can't make any promises. Ultimately, it's up to you. Ball's in your court now. Let me know what you want to do. See, I don't know what to do now, because MVP out here lying, but Randy out here talking about I got to be in his shadows. This is a huge decision. I need more time to think it over. Fine, but I'm not going to wait around forever. Let me know soon, before it's too late. Two hours later. Did you make up your mind about joining me? I'm going to join Randy, even though I feel like I'm going to have to fight him a little bit later on. I'm going to join Randy in the evolution. Yeah, I'm ready to be a part of Evolution. Good. You made the right call. I'm extremely confident in your abilities, but I want to give you a crash course in doing things the Evolution way. Meet me at the Performance Center tomorrow, and don't be late. I'll be there. Joining Evolution feels like a turning point in my career. I mean, everything before this felt big, but now it really seems like I'm on my way to the top. But do you think Randy Orton will be willing to share the spotlight with you? Can you trust him? Man, hell, no, you can't trust Randy. But at least he ain't gonna lie to your damn face. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with him, but I'm gonna keep my guard up. Randy hasn't always been the most trustworthy person in the past, so I'd be an idiot not to keep my guard up. But I'm hoping he's changed. Would it be safer to just rely on myself? Yeah, but I'm trying to trust the process. Any clue who else will be joining this new evolution? 
Randy hasn't told me anything. I guess we'll all find out together. Someone is arriving in style. Any idea who this could be? I'm not sure. As far as I know, all the VIPs are already here. Interesting. What's this all about? We've seen these two team before, but I thought it was just a one-time thing. We heard the rumors surrounding Randy Orton. This must be the debut of his newly reformed evolution. Let's go. Led by Orton, Evolution is here on Raw, and they look ready to dominate. I'm having flashbacks to 20 years ago. We put the locker room on notice, but now I want to show the entire WWE universe that we run things here on Raw. When I was in the original Evolution, we did that by holding multiple championships. So we are going to do the same thing. I thought you said I needed to wait my turn to go after the WWE Championship. You do. I've used my pull to get us a match for the Street Profits Raw Tag Team Championships. We can beat the Street Profits. No problem. I like your confidence, but it's not just the Street Profits. It's a triple threat match with them and the team of Carmelo Hayes and Almas from MVP's relaunched Hurt Business. <laughs> Apparently everyone's doing reboots these days. Yeah, but ours is better. I've decided you two will represent Evolution. I want those tag titles. Don't let me down. Don't worry. After this match, I'll be holding two championships. We got this. I got a feeling this is not gonna work out, man. I got a feeling, but we did not upgrade again. We're staying at an 81 overall until I feel like I need that resilience that I might upgrade again. Maybe this episode, I don't know, but that resilience, I'm gonna have to upgrade that from a two, from a two out of 10 to maybe a four or five out of 10. We still on hard difficulty and uh, let's dive into the next portion of this story. It's two-thirds of Evolution ready for tag team action. The following is a triple threat tag team match. And it's for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challenger at a combined weight of 435 pounds, Sub-Zero and Gabriel Slate. combined weight of 610 pounds, Omos and Carmelo Hayes, the Hurt Business. This is a big time opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. And at a combined weight of 492 pounds, they are the Raw Tag Team Champions. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits! Yeah, buddy! Yeah, buddy! First match in my gear! I'm about to put your ass in the dirt! Camilla Dope! Mm. Now I'm thinking if I would have joined the Hurt Business, would I have been teammates with Omos? Me and Omos! Or would it have been me and Melo, Carmelo Hayes? I don't know. Why are you leaving this dude, bro? Sit your ass back down. Sit your ass down. If I got to fight two or three people at once, I'll do it. Boy, I can barely see with Omar's big ass in the ring, bro. Damn, DDT on your forehead. Hit your finisher on Carmelo Hayes. Bet, say less. Get your ass in this damn corner. Get your ass. He just kicked me square in my mouth. Reverse this. Reverse. Re I couldn't even reverse it. That's tough. And then you gonna step all on my face? I missed that reversal. I missed both reverses. That's tough. Come on. Come on. Come on. Damn. Omos man handling both of them at once. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you get out. Ain't no submissions. Ain't no pins. Ain't none of that for you. Ain't none of that for you. Sit down. Watch out, dog. Y'all trying to jump me. I'm trying to jump me. Let me get, bro, move. I'm trying to handle Carmelo Hayes. You in the damn way. Fake ass LeBron James with that fake ass gas station Miami Heat jersey. Get out of that. Get your ass down. Yo, listen. You, you listen here, bitch. See, bro, they trying to jump me. Damn. 
Bro, I'm in here by myself. Hell. They all trying to jump me. They beat my ass. It's three on one. Get him. No, 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 no. Damn, go. What the? Yo, why everybody coming for me? I'm in here getting flipped around like a damn. Bro, yo, come on. Man, you sit your big ass down. I ain't scared of you. I ain't scared of you. I ain't, I ain't scared of you. Flip him. Backflip. Mm, I ain't scared of you. Man, you, I'm tired of your punk ass, fake ass LeBron. Get your fake ass gas station jersey wearing ass out my damn face. Y'all want to jump me? I'll whoop all y'all ass. I, he reversed my, oh my God. I'm tired of being reversed, bruh. Maybe I do need to upgrade quick and I miss my reverse. I'm getting slammed all on my back. Get your punk ass off of me. I didn't want to use that, but I had to. This man outside getting a damn weapon. Hit Omos. Don't you come for me. Yeah, hit his big ass. Hit his big ass. Yeah, I like that. Mm. Come on. I still got to hit my finisher. But I want him outside. I want him outside. I don't want nobody distracting me. I said distracting, interrupting me. I don't want nobody interrupting my damn move. Go ahead. Yeah, roll your dumb ass outside. You know what I'm looking for. Big flip. Big flip. Feeling like Jeff Hardy. Now let me hit him with my finisher. Let me hit him with my finisher. Come on. Drop him right on his forehead. Attempt to pin Carmelo Hayes. Gabriel, get out the damn way, dude. Get out the way. I got him. I got him. Throw him back in the ring. And let's attempt to pin him. Oh, hell. Something Oh, my. I knew it. We about to lose. In this All the work I just did was for nothing. Damn! A new hurt business looks to walk out as champions. Montez Ford with the frog splash out of nowhere. Everyone is laying it on the line. Spear from Dawkins. And after all that chaos, the Street Profits retain their Raw Tag Team Championships. The two newest factions in WWE, Evolution, and the Hurt Business look to make their mark by capturing goals. But ultimately, the champions' experience teaming together prevails. Not the outcome the Hurt Business and Evolution were looking for, but I'm sure this is not the last we've seen from them by a long shot. My teammate got in the ring and got hit with the Ray Lewis. Bro, I'm sleep. Based on what I just saw in the ring, looks like I dodged the bullet, not recruit. Huh? You lost too? What are you talking? What? We both lost. What the hell are you? See, this is why I ain't joining your big fat forehead ass. You just stupid. Obviously, things didn't go as planned out there. What's next? How are we going to regroup? You're not going to regroup. We are. What do you mean? You had your shot, and you lost. Now we're going after the tag titles. The hell you mean we're? I did the most damn damage. Gabriel ain't do shit. He ain't do nothing. You're overreacting. It was one match. I mean, what does it say about your eye for talent if you're already having doubts about me? And besides, Gabe lost too. Gabe didn't get pinned. You did. I did the most work. Look, give me another chance. I'll prove myself by doing something really impressive. Like what? I'll beat the Street Profits next week all by myself. Who knows? Could even earn us a title rematch. Sure. <laughs> okay. I knew it. I knew it. I knew this wasn't going to be as good as it seemed. I knew it. But... We are going to upgrade because that resilience being on 2 out of 10, uh-uh, that ain't going to work for me. That, yeah, we we bumping that up, my boy. We bumping that up to 5. We're going to not do a full upgrade, but we're going to upgrade that defense and resilience. I need that. Now, I'm not going to upgrade again for a few episodes, and I'm going to boost the difficulty from hard to legend difficulty. So, it's going to be more of a challenge because I'm, I don't want to upgrade too quick and then beating up on everybody. That's too easy.
champion, Sub-Zero. Intercontinental titles don't grow on trees unless you're WWE's new golden boy. Is that jealousy I'm hearing, Corey? And his opponents at a combined weight of 492 pounds, the Raw Tag Team Champions, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits! Boy, I ain't never scared. Two on one, that's light work. Come here! Come here! Big slap! Jump in, DD! Hey! Gas Station LeBron, get out the ring! Fake ass Miami Heat jersey. Back to you! Back to you! This is what I do one on two! You reversed it? Hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. Hold on! Hold on, brother! There we go, big reverse. Back to whooping your ass. Back to whooping your little ass. Sit down! You must have forgot who I am. I'm a lone wolf. I don't need no damn teammates. Sit down! I'm gonna break your damn... Boy, hold on, brother. I was about to say something crazy. <laughs> Woo! We ain't gonna say that, but uh, yeah, we gonna move on, brother. Flip! Goofy! I just realized he tacky as hell. He got on Vice City colors on his pants, but got on Lakers colors on his shoes. You tacky as hell. You can't even color coordinate right. I'm going to beat the colors back into your eyesight. Oh, he reversed it. Okay. Put up a fight then. Damn. Nah, don't. Matter of fact, yeah, go get him. Gas Station LeBron. Get your ass in here. Get your. I'm going to beat. Come here. Come here. Come here. I ain't done. Sit your punk ass back down. Back to you, though. Back to you, Gas Station LeBron. I'm about to beat both of y'all. Senseless. Do you know who I am? Sit your ass back down. Who told you to get up? Who told you to get your ass up? Come on. Knee him right in his mouth. Right in his mouth. I need a four piece. I need a four piece. One, two, three, four. The four, four, four from Wendy's. I'm whooping ass. Oh, there we go. There we go. Put up a fight. Make it entertaining. I miss both reverse. No. No. I miss both reversals. Sit here talking. Man, ain't no way you trying to pin me and you ain't do no damage. Wait, what the hell wrong with y'all? Get out of here. Get, get, get out of here. Throw his ass out. Throw his ass out. I'm about to put both feet in your face. I'm about to put both feet in your face. Face. We taking this outside. We taking this outside. Oh, he dodged that slap. He didn't want them five fingers. Speaking of the five finger slap, I forgot to look for it from episode one to this episode. Hopefully, I remember before episode three. If not, we just gonna keep forgetting about it. Mm. Let me get in the ring. Where your man at? Where he at? Come here. Get your ass out of here. Get your ass back in the ring, thick ass LeBron. Big slap. Come on. Four piece. Combo. I got five fingers for you. Five fingers. Slap. Oh, you want reverse. Reverse that roundhouse to your face. Get up. Come on. Kick your face in. Kick your face in and he bleeding. Bust his head open to the white meat. Get your ass over there. Big boot to your mouth. Don't reach in this damn ring. I'm going to beat your ass next. Just wait on it. Five finger slap. RK0. You reaching in this ring? You you reaching in this ring? You reaching in this ring? Come on. I'm manhandling both of these little scrubs. Get your ass down. You know what I'm looking for? Oh, I can't do it because he got up. I can't do my finisher. This stamina stuff, man. I'm forever out of stamina. And now we got to drag the match out a little bit longer. That was the perfect time to end the match. I had him stunned outside the ring, and I was going to do my finisher. But I'll beat your ass a little bit longer. Kick him out the ring. Kick him out the ring. Get your big ass out of here. You know what comes next. Big flip. Hey. <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about that. I hurt my damn self. <laughs> Come on, man. Let me get my stamina back. Let me get my stamina back. You taking your sweet ass time getting back in this ring, little dude. Come on now. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Big backflip kick the yo noggin. Come on, look those. Matter of fact, get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Load it up. Load it up. It's over. It's over. We finishing this match right here, right now. Big Spear. He's done. Pin him. Let's go home. One, two, three. Didn't even need y'all. Now what you gonna say? Now what you gonna say, Lorandi? Not bad, huh? Told you I'd show you I was worthy of a rematch. I was impressed, but I'm sticking with the original plan. Me and Gabe are taking the tag title rematch. Bro, what? Why do you think WWE even gave us the rematch to begin with? It was because they just saw me beat the champions all by myself. Is that what you think? I actually went to management and got us the rematch, and you could have blown it by going out there on your own and losing. Yeah, well, I didn't. Look, you already have the Intercontinental Championship. Focus on that. And after Gabe and I take care of business, we'll all have titles. Everyone wins. Gabe, you've been quiet. Don't you think it should be me and you going after the tag titles? I actually think Randy's right. It makes more sense for us to take the match. Exactly. And for Evolution to succeed, we all need to be on the same page. Understood? Oh, I understand. When I bust your head open to... You know what? <clears throat> you got it. You got Fine. it. You, Understood. You, you got it. Say less. I'll trust the process. Say, oh, I can't no, wait. Not. I can't wait to whoop your ass. So, how did it feel to watch from the sidelines as your Evolution teammates captured the Raw Tag Team Championships? You gotta shut your mouth. I'll call a girl in here to whoop your ass. You ain't safe. I'll call a girl in here right now to whoop your ass too. You ain't safe. Honestly, not great. I earned the opportunity to be out there, but it didn't work out that way. But I'm happy they won and we're all champions now. You don't sound too happy. What are you getting at? It just seems like you've taken a back seat to Orton. Randy's got a plan and I'm following it. He's going to pass the torch to me when the time's right. Or at least that's what he's told me. I don't want to pry, but is there dissension in evolution already? You know what? I think I've said all I want to say. So that's it. It looks like we're going to be doing two stories each episode because one story, it's a little short. Well, it depends on how long the story is. Some some of these stories might be short. Some might be long. It depends. So one or two stories per episode and then we're going to wrap things up. So that's it for this episode, man. Stomp is smashing that like button and I'll see y'all tomorrow for episode three.